This video is sponsored by Squarespace. More about them at the end of this recipe. Sometimes we barbecue, sometimes we make carne asada, sometimes we make Tex-Mex, sometimes we make Mexican, and sometimes we make breakfast. Today we're gonna make brisket hash. Here's one more thing you can do with your brisket leftovers. One of my social media followers suggested I give brisket hash a try. So I did a little research and I was like, ooh, man, that looks delicious. I'm definitely gonna try it. Well, today we have some leftover brisket. We're gonna go ahead and take this brisket, chop it up. This is about three quarters of a pound of brisket flat. I'm gonna use one medium russet potato. I'm gonna use a little bit of green bell pepper, red bell pepper. Of course, I gotta have jalapeno because I don't have serranos. So I'm gonna use jalapeno today. And I almost forgot. We're also gonna be using about half of a white onion. Let's get started, because it's 10 o'clock, I haven't had breakfast, and I am starving. <laughs> all right, first of all, I'm gonna have a little bit of this red bell pepper here, and I'm gonna cut it up. It doesn't take a whole lot. I'm only gonna take a little bit, about that much right there. I'm just gonna dice it up. I don't know if it, you'd call that fine, or medium fine, or whatever, but about a quarter inch size pieces. We're going to take a little bit of our green bell pepper. Now you don't have to have bell pepper in your hash. We love bell pepper in our house. Hash in general, there's no exact way or right way. It kind of reminds me of the Mexican torta. You can do it any way you like. What does that guy say? Ain't no right way, ain't no wrong way. Yes sir, yes ma'am. You're the guy. Oh, that was me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to take my jalapeno and I'm going to just slice it across. I like these big pieces because I can take a bite out of them and really enjoy them. And they don't quite add too much heat, but at least that way Terry and mom don't have to bite into them because they're so small and they might miss it and have a real hot one. Now jalapenos are notoriously inconsistent. Some are really hot, some are not. You know, actually most of them are not, but they still add a really great flavor. So I'm gonna throw them in there. Now I'm gonna dice a little bit of onion here. I'm gonna try to do this quick so I don't cry too much. I forget, man, people have given me tips on how to, on things to do with the onion so that it doesn't make you cry, but I forget to try it. All right, so I'm gonna dice these up. Might be a little too much onion. Maybe I'll just use half of this. Hoo-wee, that onion's strong. Well, we've already rinsed our potato, so let's go ahead and peel this guy right here. Real quick like. You can leave the skin on if you want. Uh, today I'm not going to, but you can do that. All right, let's cut this bad boy up here. I'm gonna dice them up about a half inch to three quarters of an inch size. Not too little, not too big. A little smaller, they'll cook a little quicker. I'm also gonna use two garlic cloves and I'm gonna get those right now. Okay, time to mince up our garlic. All right, friends, last but not least, let's cube up this brisket. We still have some of that delicious, amazing au jus in there. Oof, that looks good. Did I say I hadn't eaten breakfast? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry, babe. All right, I'm gonna get rid of some of this fat here. Oh, that was sliced, I forgot. Man, right out of the refrigerator. This is fantastic, look at that. Just beautiful. All right, let's chop it up. All right, I think that's all we need for our brisket hash this morning. We're gonna go ahead and save these little pieces for a little brisket taco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, my barbecue loving friends, it's time to add the potatoes. All right, let's give these potatoes a little stir. You wanna stir them a little bit so they don't stick to the bottom. And we're doing about a medium heat more or less medium to medium high heat. We're just gonna give them a little while. Let them halfway cook before we add our onions. No, I did not rinse the potatoes. I know some of you are gonna ask me if I rinsed them or if I rinsed the starch off or anything like that. I've never really needed to do that to my potatoes. They always come out awesome nonetheless. Uh, if you wanna rinse them, well then you go ahead, do whatever you know makes you happy. All right, it's been about three and a half minutes. We're gonna give them another little stir here. Just we're, like I said, we're kind of at a medium to medium high heat. You can see a little sticking down here. You can kind of scrape that off. That's just yummy deliciousness. <laughs> you want to make sure they get some of this nice brown mired reaction. You see that? It's nice and brown. You want to put a little bit of that roasty toasty on the potatoes. You could fry them first ahead of time, 
You could parboil them if you wanted to. It all works. Uh, this is just the way we're doing them today. Now another trick that works really good with potatoes, you can buy those store-bought frozen potatoes. They're already diced and uh, they cook really quick and they're delicious. We've used those many times. All right, friends, it's been right at five minutes, so we're gonna stir them up a little bit more. They're getting a little sticky on the bottom. So guess what? It's time to add some onions. The onions are gonna release a little bit of water and the water's gonna loose, loosen that up. So here we go. You can add a little water if you want as well. Uh, chicken broth or beef broth, whatever you want to add in there liquid wise. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. You just want to loosen up that yummy crumbly stuff on the bottom, that's all. So we're going to let those onions get translucent. Those potatoes are already feeling kind of soft, so we're going to let those onions do their magic right now. Yeah, buddy. And here's a pro tip. You can cover it up to help retain some of that moisture in there and uh, they'll cook a little bit quicker as well. All right, we're going to add just a little bit of water to loosen up those yummies on the bottom. It's not really a measurement. We're just gonna let that sit in there and make sure these potatoes don't get stuck anymore. <laughs> but that stuff down here, look at that. It comes loose with the water. There's a pro tip for you guys. You see how that comes off? That is just pure deliciousness. Now you don't wanna stir the potatoes too, too much because then they get all mushy. All right, so here goes the garlic. Whoops, we'll just use this jalapeno to slide that off. <laughs> this will be my slider, the jalapeno. And we'll drop those in a couple of minutes too. Throw that garlic around. I turned down the heat, by the way, so the potatoes wouldn't burn too much. Uh, it's time to crank the heat back up a little bit because we're fixing to add the veggies and then the brisket. Shake a little bit of wow in here. Not a whole lot because remember the brisket already has some seasoning, so we just want to add a little extra flavor to the potatoes. I think it's time we add the other veggies here, so let's go ahead and throw those in here all together. Jalapenos, bell peppers, all together now. And I am gonna add just a little bit more water here. All right, let's give this a little stir, get those veggies and the jalapeno all cooked up. I think one of them jumped ship. We are good to go here. It's time to add the brisket. We're gonna stir it all up. Potatoes are done. I know the potatoes are done, you want to be able to poke them with a fork. You see how soft that went in there? They get nice and soft, they fall apart right away. Those potatoes are very, very well done. We're going to incorporate all the ingredients together. The brisket, the jalapenos, the bell peppers, the onions, the garlic, all of it really together here. And there we have it, my friends. It is a done deal. I'm going to stir it just a little bit more and we're done. I'm going to cover it up, let it rest a little bit, let it cool off a little bit so we can get a big old bite. All right, my friends, we're back from the stove. We're going to go ahead and put some of this brisket hash on our beautiful little plate here. We're not going to get too fancy. This is just breakfast for me right now. And I am pretty hungry. <laughs> Man, this turned out really good. I love it. I'm ready to try this. Not yet. Whoa. There's something that'll make this brisket hash even better. Let me go get it. Hoo-wee! Check this out, my friends. A little flippity flip eggs. <laughs> First time making brisket hash. Let's see how we did. It looks beautiful. It smells great. Only thing to make this better was a couple of basted eggs right on top. I have to have at least two eggs for my breakfast, but today probably one would have been enough. All right, let's tear it up. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, look at that, yeah. Before I taste it with the egg, I want to taste the brisket hash. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, my goodness. I think we're going to have a new Sunday breakfast favorite, you know, next to barbacoa and menudo. <laughs> this brisket hash is really good. It makes me want to dance. <laughs> I can tell that egg needs a little salt, pepper, and garlic on it. So we're just going to shake a little bit on top of the egg here. The rest of the dish doesn't need anything. It's perfect. I could tell just by taking a bite or two. It is fantastic. All right. This is going to be so good. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Super good, baby. 
Oh man, that is so, so good. One more thing that'll make this even better. Good old South Texas flour tortilla. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Eggs and all. Egg is a tiny bit overcooked, but it's still delicious. I like my tortillas a little bit toasty. <laughs> They're super good that way. Actually, I like my tortillas any way I can get them, to be honest with you. <laughs> Friends, this is the way I like to do breakfast. Tortilla, breakfast meats, breakfast potatoes, big fat taco, and don't forget the salsa. Woo-wee! Yeah, buddy. All right, this thing's dripping a little bit all over the place. Tortilla's a little crunchy, but we're gonna tear it up. Remember, this is my plate, so it's okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, my tortilla got a little crunchy, so it's falling apart on me, especially with all that little extra moisture from the salsa and the hash. Friends, this is so good. I'm gonna eat the whole thing before I end the video. Tell our friends out there what you think. Good stuff? Really good. <clears throat> Whew, man, that's a taco. Full of brisket hash that has potatoes, two kinds of bell peppers, onions, garlic, and last but not least is brisket and jalapenos. A Little bit of salsa, a little bit of delicious egg. I don't know why I never did this before. Friends, thank you guys so much for suggesting this dish to us. It absolutely rocks, man. I love it. We're definitely gonna be making this a lot more often. That smoked brisket, whew, oh man, it just takes it to another level, out of this world. Like my uncle says, out of sight. <laughs> but it's great. All right, friends, we're gonna wrap it up before my food gets too cold, and Terry wants to make a plate for herself as well. So we're gonna enjoy this really delicious brisket hash for breakfast. If you guys are interested in our APC barbecue rubs, you can go to pitmaster.us on the side here. If you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us. And yes, friends, we are working on a cookbook. Maybe by the end of the year, we'll have it all written out, and maybe it'll be printed next year. Y'all pray for us. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the follow tabs. Y'all, we'll see you guys at the next one. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Boom! Keep it wow. Boom! Wow. Throw it. Not like that. Bell pepper trying to jump ship too. Out, out, out. <laughs> we call that the pit dance. <laughs> That's because I don't really know how to dance. Yep, teeth between my teeth. Teeth between my teeth. Brisket between my teeth. <laughs> don't put that in the blooper. Thanks again to this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create your own website, build your brand, host your e-commerce, and so much more. With Squarespace scheduling, your availability is easily visible for your audience and clients, so you can seamlessly schedule and organize reservations, appointments, and classes with your members. This saves so much time and creates a great experience for your audience. You can also stand out beyond the noise by using Squarespace's SEO tools. Every Squarespace site and store comes with an easy to use suite of features and useful guides to bring your brand or business better search results. Squarespace also has built-in blogging tools that are perfect for sharing recipes, guides, and content that can all be scheduled to post at your convenience. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when y'all are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.